21st of December, 2004, worst day of my life, ever. I, it's hard, I, I cannot imagine how a day could be worse than that. 22 people under Ham's command killed by a suicide bomber. Specialist Robert Unruh uh, took a gunshot wound to the uh, torso. Uh, I was involved in uh, medevacking him off the battlefield and in a short period of time he died before my eyes. Two generals, uh, Carter Ham and Gary Patton, Iraq, now the taking and, uh, the extraordinary uh, step uh, of speaking out about their emotional trauma from the Iraq war hoping it will help other troubled soldiers. Ham says he's learned to cope with the memories of that suicide bomb attack, but it's been a tough road. I was withdrawn. I was, I wanted to still be there. I felt like uh, that what I was doing was not important because, because I had soldiers who were killed. It's not a matter of letting go. I don't want to let go. For Patton, a brigade commander, the loss of 69 of his men over a year-long tour of duty still wakes him up at night, <laughs> believing he is again under attack. Of course, there's no IEDs or rocket that's going off in my bedroom, but uh, the, the brain has a funny way of remembering those things. And not only recreating the, the exact sound, but also the smell of the battlefield and the metallic taste you get in your mouth. When they you both sought counseling, the knowing the stigma so, many uh, attach to mental health mental problems. Mental Patton mental says mental learning to talk about the war with, uh, helped him cope with and depression, and sort of anger, thing. and grief. I think, frankly, I think I'm a better general because I got some help. But the pain may never go away. At the end of it all, that there were, I mean, soldiers and civilians were, were killed, and that's my responsibility. Barbara Starr, CNN, the Pentagon.